Hello guys, this is Svetlana from Kamui Cosplay and welcome to part 1 of our Horizon Zero Dawn cosplay making of video series. Yay! Ever since I finished the game, I wanted to cosplay. Oh, hell, And as you know me, I've picked the biggest, craziest, most complicated armor in the whole game, the Shadow Stalwart Armor Heavy set. Why go small if you can go big? <laughs> so today I'm going to show you how we made the boot covers and leg armor for Alloy. This part actually includes a lot of sewing. So if you want to get to know how this works, buy my sewing book. You will find a link in the video description below. And now let's begin. One of the great things about Horizon is the amazing photo mode. At any point you can just pause the game and take screenshots of every part of the costume. It's perfect for cosplayers. To start with the boot covers, I used the same patterns I made for my monk costume. I transferred them to the stunning faux leather and added a bit of sew allowance. Having Zelda and Midna around definitely created a bit of extra challenge. As you can see, I also mirrored every piece for the other leg. To give my boot covers more stiffness, I added a volume fleece in between. Afterwards, I glued the layers together, attached some wonder clips and finally connected them with my sewing machine. I also utilized my pattern a second time to create a lining out of brown cotton. This was also attached with clips and then sewn together. After I turned the boot cover inside out, I slid in plastic boning and finished the edges. This was just to add more stiffness. Next I added a few lines of decorative top stitching. And last but not least, Benny placed eyelets for an authentic binding. Looks like Zelda approves of this part. Now onto the shin guard. I edited my duct tape pattern and transferred it to a really nice looking faux leather. Next came some wonder clips and sewing it together. You know how it goes. To make this piece thicker I placed red sew to the other side. For the top I made another piece in red faux leather. I cut out a few brown fabric stripes that Midna liked very much and pinned them all around the edges. Then I sewed it on, turned it around, sewed it on once more and finally attached it all to my shin armor. Now I had to make a few belts. Good thing Zelda always checked that I did everything right. I simply turned the fabric around and sewed over it. Afterwards I placed the belts with fabric glue, added velcro tape and D-rings and sewed them on. So far so good. The fabric was a bit too bright however, so Benny rubbed on a little bit of dark brown acrylic paint. He also added shadows with his airbrush. The plain faux leather looked a lot more authentic with weathering. Same worked for the boot covers. What a difference! Now finally it was time for all the armor pieces. In total there were 16 parts for every leg. To get the correct size, Benny drew the shapes in Adobe Illustrator and printed them out on paper. After he got it right, he laser cut them out of 2mm black styrene. You still had to clean them up, sand and glue all these little individual pieces together by hand. When he was done, it was my job to shape them into the right roundness. I just heated them up and threw them onto a flower pot. Super professional! The remaining armor parts were completely 3D modeled by Benny and Cinema 4D. Our 3D printer spent countless hours printing them. They turned out great, but sadly we couldn't just paint them like this. To get them nice and shiny, Benny had to spend another couple of hours with sanding, spray priming and more sanding. It took a lot of additional work, but I think the result was worth it. And finally, it was time for the paint job. 
For the base layer we applied a metallic automotive spray paint. Then Benny added a bit of silver dry brushing on top and weathered all of them with dark brown oil paint. Afterwards everything got a final layer of protective clear coat. Now it was my turn again. To attach all the finished parts to my fabric, I decided to hand sew them on at two different points. After I was done, I added some leather strips on top. And finally to the last element, the toe cap. As a base, I used the same hiking boots that have already served me well for many years. To get the pointy pattern, I attached an additional piece of EVA foam to the front and covered everything in tape. Next, I drew on the shape I needed, pulled off the tape again, cut all pieces out and traced the resulting patterns to craft foam. Then I covered the foam with black warbler for more durability, stuck them together with heat and shaped them directly on my shoe. To get rid of the seams, I filled them with some extra material and sanded it smooth afterwards. Now came spray primer and sanding, a few D-rings for the attachment, spray paint and done! Yay! And that's how everything looks assembled. Pretty close to the game, right? Don't ask me how many hours Benny and I worked on this part, but I say it was worth it. So this was part one. Next time I'm going to show you how we made the belt, the quiver and some really cool arrows. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. And if you want, you can also support our work on Patreon. I really hope you were able to learn something and had fun watching the video. And well, see you next time. Bye bye.